Hey, this is Dr. Mort Orman, and I was thinking about thinking the other day, and uh, something that I do quite often, uh, because thinking really has, uh, has a lot to do with the roots of much of our stress in life. A lot of times uh, our stress comes from how we think, ways that we think, patterns of thinking. So as I was thinking about it the other day, I said, well, let me, let me see how many different types of thinking, general types of thinking, or styles of thinking, I could come up with. So I started making a list, and uh, I was really surprised by how many. It took me about an hour, hour and a half to just brainstorm with myself. By the way, brainstorming is one type of thinking uh, that we human beings can do um, with ourselves, with other people. But I just started writing down these th thoughts as they came to mind, and then I started doing some research and seeing what other people had identified as styles of thinking. And, and I was amazed about how many different kinds of thinking that we as human beings are capable of. Now, there's been a lot of uh, psychological study in this area, and there's personality typing and uh, identifying people's predominant, certain personalities have certain predominant types of thought patterns, and it's probably good to know that if you're in an organization working with different people um, so that you can understand their predominant thinking style and the, uh, the strengths and weaknesses of theirs and the strengths and weaknesses in yours. So there's been some, a good bit of work around that. But uh, I just thought it would be interesting to see how many different styles of thinking, other than those couple major ones that have been already been identified, that we could come up with. Um, so I went to my, uh, as, as I was surprised by the number that I came up with on my own, I went to my private Facebook group called the League of Extraordinary Stress Eliminators, and I put out a challenge to the people who had joined that group. And I said, hey, let's, let's build a list. Let's have everybody contribute uh, their ideas and their thoughts on different styles of thinking that they may have identified, and we'll, we'll build this organic list, and we'll see how many we come up with. Now, I predict we're probably going to come up with easily over 300 different identifiable types of thinking, each with their pros and cons, each of which could, you know, contribute to stress or could alleviate stress. So, for ex just to give me one example, as a physician, uh, when you go through medical school or medical training, you're taught to think in certain ways. You're, you're, you're taught to have certain styles of thinking. For example, you're taught to be a perfectionist, have perfectionistic thinking, to have perfectionistic expectations. You don't want to make a mistake when you're taking care of somebody else. You don't want to come up with a wrong diagnosis. You don't want to write out a wrong prescription or get the decimal point, you know, in the wrong place and it ends up killing somebody, you know, uh, in, in a horrible sort of event. You, you just don't want to do those kinds of things. And so you're, it's drilled into you during all those years of your training and beyond this idea of perfectionistic thinking. And so you adopt that style of thinking because it works. It's beneficial as a physician. But then when you get out of your office and you're no longer in that mode of, of taking care of patients and you're just interacting with people in your life, friends and family, and you start using perfectionistic thinking in, in assessing them, judging them, judging yourself outside of the medical context, and you, that's a setup for stress. I mean, that's going to generate stress. And that's one of the big challenges we have as physicians there's four or five or six, you know, primary styles of thinking that get drilled into us in our training to make us good physicians. And those styles of thinking actually have a boomerang effect and, and cause stress for us in our personal lives and our lives outside of the medical profession. It can even cause some stress inside our professional lives as well if we don't, if we aren't flexible enough to know when to apply them, when not to apply them. So that's just an example of what I'm talking about is that every style of thinking um, has its pros and cons, and some will create stress or not. So if you want to be part of this experiment, if you'd like to join, join us in building this list and, and seeing what other people come up with, go over to Facebook, look up the League of Extraordinary Stress Eliminators. You'll find two pages there. One's just a general Facebook page that anybody can uh, access. And then there's a page that's a closed group, and you'll see that. It'll say closed group on it, and you have to join the group. Uh, I'll read the... Read the um, um, the directions there and uh, for how to join and there's a little uh, survey you'll need to complete it's very simple but it'll tell you whether the group is right for you or not and, and if it is then go ahead and, and submit that survey and then once you've submitted the survey then go back to that closed group page and hit the button the join put, uh, group button in Facebook and I'll get both the survey results and the request to join and I'll be able to let you into the group and then you can start participating so look out for more uh, videos this week as I'll be talking about uh, different styles of thinking that I came up with in this process. In fact, uh, I posted a, a blog post today on the difference between automatic thinking and reason thinking. 
So if you want to learn about that, go to my website, docorman.com, and go to my blog, and you'll see a blog post where you can look at the difference between those two uh, kinds of thinking, which has a lot to do with stress, by the way. So it's a very good um, post to read if you have the time. I also send out an email to the people on my email list, so they'll get, uh, they'll get that information as well. But that's the kind of thing I'm talking about, and that's what you can expect this week. We'll be talking about thinking, writing about thinking, emailing about thinking, and thinking about thinking. So talk to you next time.